Good afternoon, this is Jim Williams with a Hurricane City Tropical Update for August 7th around 5 p.m. Here's a live cam shot from Akamal in the southern Yucatan Peninsula. You can see the tourists are down there, there's some people laying on the beach. A little bit of wind ruffling through the trees. Not a lot of surf going on there, but that's going to change in a few hours as we have Tropical Storm Franklin moving in on the area. It's going to pass right over this area. So tonight, as the sun sets and conditions will deteriorate, probably around 10, 11 o'clock tonight, and around midnight, 2, 3, 4 in the morning is the worst conditions for this area, all the way up to Punta Allen, Mexico, which is the current feature at Hurricane City. Now, one of the fun features at Hurricane City is the ability to click on the area that's being featured, which is currently Punta Allen, Mexico, and get all the live information from the area, radars, radio feeds, cams, weather observations, news, etc. So let's go through it together here this afternoon. And by the way, that cam shot that, that I just showed you is in this list. There's a whole bunch of cameras down there to watch as this system moves through. Although it'll be dark, you won't be able to see very much. But let's take a look at a radar and this is uh, the entire Northwest uh, Caribbean Sea radar composite, which is all the radars combined. You can see there our center of circulation is moving in on uh, the southern Yucatan Peninsula, just north of Belize. And uh, Punta Allen is right where my mouse pointer is. And this is going to be the area that's going to be impacted by the northern side of the center of circulation. Actually, the center may pass directly over the, this area, which is about... Uh, 20, 30 miles south of Cozumel, Mexico. That's probably where the center is going to come ashore tonight. And then it'll move over the Yucatan Peninsula. Tomorrow it'll be in the Bay of Campeche in the southern Gulf of Mexico. And that's where it could become a hurricane if it doesn't do so tonight before landfall. But speaking of which, here is our enhanced floater image from NOAA. And you can see that the system, even though it's well organized, it's got outflow in all quadrants it's it's got upper level support everything going for it warm sea surface temperatures probably very minimal shear near the center but there's a very broad circulation and the hurricane hunters are flying out there right now and they're not finding a very deep system so sometimes these satellite pictures can be a little bit deceiving but this is a very well organized system it just doesn't have a lot of deep convection firing near the center so here is the Hurricane Hunter recon, recon fixes for the Hurricane Hunters out there right now flying around. And you can see we had 998 a few hours ago, and then about an hour ago we had 998. Uh, we had 999, then it dropped one millibar to 998. So it's not like this is rapidly deepening by any stretch of the imagination. I know there's a lot of uh, comments on Twitter about this being a hurricane, and let's just go ahead and call it a hurricane. Well... If you look at all these wind barbs out here, you're seeing surface winds 44 knots. Uh, let's just south of the center here, we have winds uh, 32 knots, uh, surface winds 36 knots. So we're not seeing hurricane force winds around the center of this by any stretch. You have 40 knots. The hurricane center is being generous on their 5 p.m. advisory, keeping this at 60 miles per hour because it's probably more like 50 or 55. But uh, there is some time for this to continue to strengthen a little bit. It could still become a hurricane before landfall, but what it looks like now, it looks like a hurricane, but this is why they fly the hurricane hunters in there, to make sure whether we have a bona fide hurricane or not. And again, the further you see they're flying this alpha pattern. They keep going south, and they go west, and they go north, east, and they come back again, and they go south through the center. They keep doing this for hours and hours, and they'll probably keep doing this right up until it gets close to landfall. So we'll know if it's a hurricane uh, late tonight. But it, it looks like right now, I'm, I'm looking at the latest enhanced image I just showed you. It's not really firing near the center. So I'm kind of thinking this might not reach hurricane status by the time it reaches landfall. Of course, I've been wrong before. So we'll see what happens. Here is the 400 kilometer radar out of Belize. And you can see the center of circulation is entering the screen. Uh, right around, let's say, 18 north, maybe just north of 18 and 86 west would be about where the center is right now. And, of course, the National Hurricane Center pegged it 170 miles east-northeast of Belize City and 155 miles east of Chetamal, Mexico. So, again, it's going to come right in on this area right in here, which is kind of des de uh, sparsely populated. Uh, we got towns like Acamal. we got 
Mar Mahawal. We've had some very intense hurricanes come through here. There's a very warm sea surface temperatures in this area, so this is not surprising to see a system get really well organized. For whatever reason, the Western Caribbean systems love it there. They, they get fine upper level support and very warm sea surface temperatures. So a little bit of history on the area that's going to be impacted tonight, Punta Allen, Mexico. The last time they were affected was in 2012 on August 8th, almost to the day. Hurricane Ernesto passed about 50 miles to the north of here with 80 mile per hour winds while moving west. But believe it or not, this area, even though it's there's a rich hurricane history down here and there's been a lot of majors, they don't get hit that frequently. In fact, about once every 16 years or so, a hurricane passes through this area directly. And the average winds of all the hurricanes combined is about 108 miles per hour. Now, they were statistically due to be impacted this year. That's one of the things I focus on with the Hurricane City database is return rates. And they were statistically due this year, so this is not surprising. So finally, looking at the forecast track for Franklin over the sea surface temperature map at Hurricane City, you can see that we expect landfall tonight around 70 miles per hour. Now, the high tide in Belize City, at least, uh, further to the south, is around midnight, so probably all these areas will be at high tide around that same time. So this is going to make landfall at high tide, which is not good news, but we'll see what happens on the coast. We'll see if they sustain any damage from uh, surge. And the National Hurricane Center did indicate that we could have uh, a storm surge of two to four feet above normal tide levels along the immediately coast near near into the north of where the center makes landfall with large and dangerous battering waves uh, as a 70 mile an hour system comes in here around one o'clock in the morning. And then it will reemerge into the Gulf of Mexico on Wednesday in the early morning hours. And then it will regain or become a hurricane in the middle of the Bay of Campeche on Wednesday afternoon. And then on Thursday afternoon, it's projected to make landfall just south of Tampico, Mexico. So we'll monitor this closely. Now, as far as broadcasting is concerned, we only do live hurricane warning shows when there's major hurricanes making landfall in the Caribbean and all hurricanes that make landfall in the United States. So... You can keep track of this at Hurricane City. The countdown clock is activated. You can see it at the top of the screen counting down. Those are the amount of time left before the sustained tropical storm force wind field moves on shore. So you, if you live in these affected areas tonight, you have four hours and 46 minutes to get all your loose objects inside and get any, everything secure so that you can feel safe in the overnight hours as this moves through. Well, that's it for now. We wish everybody the best of luck in the southern Yucatan Peninsula. And we'll be back with another update in a day or two as this is in the Bay of Campeche. And we'll know a lot more if this is going to become a hurricane at that time. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. I'm Jim Williams.